Well, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Boy, do I got a word for us today. <clears throat> and um, here is the title for this message. And uh, can God use Donald J. Trump to turn America back to God? Can God use Donald Trump to turn America back to God? That's what we're going to be talking about today. And I'm glad you've uh, tuned in. And let me just say this, that I am by the grace and the love and the mercy of God, Evangelist Jesse Charo. I will be sharing some Bible. And if you have your Bibles, please turn with me to the book of Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles, the seventh chapter. I will begin reading at verse 14. Second Chronicles 7, 14. Uh, blessed be the name of the Lord. And uh, listen to this word. <clears throat> if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face. This is God speaking. Amen. His written word has been written for us to share with you Humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn. Turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear, then he will hear. He's got ears, you know, ears to hear. He has eyes to see. Then I will hear from heaven, where is the Lord? Sitting on his throne, he gets up, he walks around, he does whatever he wants. I will hear from heaven and forgive their sins. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for forgiveness, his love, his grace, his mercy that endures forever. And will forgive their sins and heal their land, their land. Talking about God bless America. God bless America. The United States of America, one nation under God. Amen. We are so blessed, but Here's the thing, that if America does not turn from their wicked ways, including number one, chief sinner right here, if we don't turn from our wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and forgive our sins and heal their land. We must repent, ask for forgiveness, and be in right standing with God again. Amen. We're not so far off. We, we, we're still uh, January 21, 2017. And uh, let's pray over this word. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray. Let us pray. Great 
God in heaven, creator of heaven and earth. For you created all things. Father, we thank you that you hold this earth by your great power. That it's not spending out of control because you are in control of this world, of this land, this ocean. You are in control of our hearts. I thank you, Lord, that you have raised up men and women of God. Paul, full of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for all these men that you have chosen. And uh, we pray for President Donald J. Trump. That you will use him in a great and mighty way. Lord, that you said that the eyes of the Lord, that your eyes go to and fro with the whole earth. And you're looking for that one individual whose heart is after God. Whose heart is perfect. Whose heart is right before you. Someone like Jeremiah that said, Here am I, Lord. Send me. And here I am myself, Lord. That also would say, Lord, send me. What would you have me to do, Jesus? January 2017, Lord, what would you have me to do? I want to do your will. 2016 is past and gone. And have we done anything for you, oh God, hallelujah. We want to do great exploits, oh God. Father, we want to reveal you. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro the whole earth to show himself great and mighty and powerful in behalf. Listener, on behalf of you and me and Donald Trump and Whoever desires to say, Lord, here am I, use me, send me, break me, mold me, shake me, do whatever you have to do in 2017, January, oh God, it's not too late. Father, we pray for not only America, we pray for every nation around the world. That they may come to know you, the only true God and Savior. For you are able to save to the uttermost them that call upon you for salvation. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, your beloved Son, in whom you are well pleased, the Lord Jesus Christ, the baptizer with the Holy Ghost. We thank you and praise you. Speak to me, Lord. Speak to us. Speak to Donald Trump. Speak to Obama, speak to Hillary, speak to Bush, speak, 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 Lord. Speak unto us one more time. That we will hear what you have told us to do already in the past, in 20 Five years ago, ten years ago, twenty years ago, thirty years ago. You have given us a word. You told Daniel, shut up the vision, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it will speak, it will not tarry, it will surely come to pass. Wait for it. How long do we have to wait for what you have spoken to us? Dreams, visions, revelations, gifts that we're still waiting upon. I pray for no money. I pray for no fame. I pray, I pray for nothing. I pray that Jerusalem might be saved. I pray that America may come to know you and be saved. I pray for... Because it is not the will of God that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That is my desire. You saved me at a perfect time. And then you said, Jesse, go. 
And the listeners that are listening today, right now, you have told them to go also. You are going to use in these last days Donald J. Trump and tell him to go. Tell him, show him, reveal unto him, oh God, reveal yourself unto him first, number one. Number two, reveal unto Donald J. Trump what you would have him to do. For your glory, for your praise, for your honor. Lord, that he will not listen to Hillary, that he will not listen to the Bush, that he will not listen to Obama. Lord, that he will turn to you and listen to you, O oh God, creator of heaven and earth, because you are the only one that can save us. You are the only one that can heal our land, that if we repent and turn from our wicked ways. Father, I thank you that you used Jonah to go to Nineveh. You spared Nineveh because you chose one man. Nineveh was saved. You spared Nineveh. But you destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. You destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Father, we live in the city of Las Vegas, what they call Sin City, but where sin abounds, your grace is here. There is no sin greater than your grace, greater than the blood of the Lamb. That if we come to you and confess and turn from our wicked ways, so oh God, that you would hear from heaven and will heal our land and our body and save us, oh God. Father, even today, January 2017, we're not there yet. Oh, we need you now more than ever. We pray for our leaders, everyone, that they may come to you and do your will. In Jesus' name we pray, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Have your way right now. As I was praying, the Lord showed me another scripture that I would love to read right now, and it's very urgent and very beautiful. You see, throughout the whole Bible, God used Abraham, Isaac, Jeremiah, Amos, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, uh, even in the New Testament, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Jesus came at a perfect time, amen, and uh, behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. You've always used a man, and Father, we pray for Donald Trump that you will use him for your glory, for your praise, for your honor. We thank you that our Lord and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, he was obedient unto death. And Father, we pray for Donald J. Trump that he will be obedient. On, eh, 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 eh. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. And they did not love their lives unto the death. Do not love your life unto the death. Because when you were on the other side and Jesus would say, and then God would say to you, well done, good and faithful. That we will not hear you disobedient children. You are disobedient to the call of God. What is more important to you right now? A mansion? Rolls Royce? All the money? What does it gain to your life if you won the whole world to you and lose your own soul? 
the reason I am so heavy on this is because you cannot use God just to get by, just to go to heaven. Some, you know, we pray that Donald Trump is not just using God for backup. See, because God is a, is a, is, is great and mighty and powerful. And even in the uh, New Testament, as we read it, uh, people wanted to buy the Holy Ghost. Because they, they saw that Paul and Silas and the disciples and the apostles, and uh, they were doing great, uh, mighty, and signs and wonders. And, and they said, wow, how, how can I get this Holy Spirit? How can I, how much do I have to pay? I mean, I want to. Lay hands on the sick and they're going to recover. Oh, 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 man. I mean, people thought that they could get rich on the Holy Ghost. Rich on the Holy Ghost. Oh, God, I didn't say that, did I? Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen to this. Do you know what love is? I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. I want to know what love is. If you have your Bibles, please turn with me to 1 John 3.16. Not John 3.16, even though John 3.16 is very beautiful and powerful. But listen to this one. 1 John, 1 John, that's over by Revelation. 1 John chapter 3, verse 16. This is how we know what love is. This is how we know what love is. Okay, I'm reading from a different translation, but it is so powerful. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. Whoa. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters, for our city, for our state, for our country, for the whole world. If it took that, Jesus died for the whole world, the sins of the whole world. But many did not receive him, the Lord Jesus Christ. They're putting their trust on someone else. But there is salvation in no other, for there is no other name given among men by which we must be saved. Acts chapter 4, verses 8 through 12. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. Greater love has no one than this, that he would lay his life down for his friends. You got friends on Facebook, you got friends on YouTube, you got friends here, you got friends, neighbors, you got, we even got enemies, hello. God has enemies. There's enemies of the cross. There's enemies of God. We, we, we don't pray that, that, that God will kill them and send them to hell. We pray that they will come to know Jesus Christ. Come to know Yeshua HaMashiach. Come to know salvation only in Jesus Christ. Because we were enemies of the cross. We were enemies of God before. That they may come to know Him. Amen. So now, greater love has no one than this than to lay their life down for America. There, there goes Donald Trump. He says, I want to help turn America back to God. Well, then he would have to lay his life down, huh, for America. Hello, somebody. Hey, you talk like that, man. You better lay your life down. Lay your life down for New York City, Chicago. Texas, Africa, India, Philippines, 
Mexico, Russia, Afghanistan. Lay down your life. You know how many people are laying down their lives and being shot and killed and beheaded. and They're laying down their lives that they may come to know salvation. Because to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Once you're dead, hey, you're up in heaven. Or hell. A lot of people, hey, don't talk like that because there ain't no hell. Well, some pre one preacher said, hey, well, why don't you send me a postcard when you get there? That's funny, but it's real. So I have to lay down my life and, and, and look at what God is using now. Social media, Facebook, YouTube, GodTube, ThatTube, ThisTube. All kinds of tubes. But he can't lose. Every which way but lose your soul. Every which way he he's going to try to go this way, that way. You're watching this video and it's not by coincidence. It's not coincidence. Uh, I want to share something very important because it's not easy for me to present this video because I've titled this video and I want it to go, uh, uh, I want this video to reach Donald J. Trump. Why? Because uh, if you go on my YouTube uh, channel and you watch my videos, you're going to see one video there that's called Chicago, Illinois. 60606. I want you to go look at that video. I want you to look at uh, other videos I have on there. And it's talking about, you know what, I'm laying my life down because I must share what God wants me to share. I mean, it's not easy. Jonah, go to Nineveh. I'm getting ready to destroy this city. Jonah, Jonah ran the other way. What are you running from? Are you running from God? 2017, I mean, hey, what is your life? I mean, what is your life? My life is to do the will of him who sent me. I was supposed to have been dead in 1986. But Jesus revealed himself unto me. I want you to go look at these videos. I share testimonies. I share. I share so much stuff on my uh, on my uh, uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. Jesse yeah. Charo. Jesse Charo. J e s s e c h a r o. Hmm. Okay. YouTube.com slash Jesse Charo. J e s s e c h a r o. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want you to go check out the Chicago uh, videos. Yeah. Uh, dreams, visions, revelations. Uh, I want you to check those out. Uh, Jesse Char, okay. Jesse Char, J E S S E C H A R O. Am I trying to promote myself? No. I want you to share yeah. the uh, dreams, visions, revelation, what the Lord has revealed unto me. I, I, I wrote them down, uh, I shared them on videos, uh, and I need you to take a look at them, because I want you to get to know God, and what He does, and how He does it, amen. Uh, the Lord Himself has revealed Himself to Saul, who became Paul. The Lord Jesus Christ has revealed unto uh, bad Jesse to, I'm not saying that Jesus said there's none good, only my Father's good. You know, so there is none righteous, there is none good, there is none that does good. For all have sinned, fallen short of the glory of God. Amen. Who is Donald Trump, something great? No. We're praying that God will use this man. Amen. Uh, and do great and mighty works through Donald Trump. That Donald Trump will say, you know what, well, God showed me this. Not only that, listen to this. There's men and women... That God is going to use to to minister to Donald Trump. That's why we got to pray for Hillary, for Obama, and Bush. 
If they won't be put in like that snake come over in the garden and say, you shall not surely die, Donald Trump. You shall not surely die. Come on, man. Do it our way. Now, there's three against one there. There's three voices against one. We're praying that Donald Trump will just hear what the Lord will say. We pray that Donald Trump will start reading his Bible. I mean, not start reading his Bible, but get into the deeper things of God. Amen. Lord, how do you want me to run America? United States of America. How? Amen. You pray for your president. You pray for the president of the Philippines. You pray for the Hawaii. You pray for all of them. Amen. You pray that he will get a hold of God in order to run uh, that nation, that country, and before you know it, the whole earth is going to turn to God and say, hey, creator of heaven and earth, oh, glory, hallelujah, that God wants to reveal himself to whom he will. Amen. Um, let, let, let's see another. Um, um, uh, Amos 7.3. Amos 7, 3. The Lord relented. He repented. For this, it shall not be, says the Lord. You're going to read the whole chapter. Jonah, uh, Amos chapter 7. Amos, um, um, go into uh, uh, um, Jonah. Okay, watch Amos 3, 7. Surely the Lord God does nothing unless he first reveal it to his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Uh, we have the gift of prophecy. I, I, I wouldn't go around saying, hey, I'm, I'm God's prophet. No. Uh, if, if the Lord's will to reveal himself to you, amen, if God is using you as a mouthpiece, amen, do it for the glory of God. Do not be afraid to tell your neighbor, do not be afraid to tell, to tell whoever is coming against you and against God. Amen. Uh, pray for them because you don't want them to get chastised by the Lord. Um, listen to this, uh, Numbers chapter 12, verse 6, and God speaking here, and he said, hear now my words. If there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak to him in a dream. Amen. And a lot of people don't, don't believe, you know, I mean, people just don't believe in dreams and visions. God, people that don't believe that God is able to reveal and show you great and mighty things that you don't even know by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So listen, I'm I'm gonna finish with this, and and uh, you you go and check out my uh, my videos on YouTube. dot com slash Jesse Charo J E S S E C H A R O. You want to get a hold of me here in the city of Las Vegas? Area code seven zero two nine three one one two two one. Amen. I want you to share this video uh, so that other people can pray for Donald J. Trump. Amen. Uh, yeah, people need to pray for the men and women of God that God has put uh, uh, in connection, uh, you know, to speak to Donald J. Trump because many voices are going to start hitting him. And uh, we need to pray that, you know, he, he would lock himself inside the White House and say, Lord, speak to me. Speak to me. Why? Because God is able to make America great and a mighty nation blessed. He'll make the Philippines too. He'll make Africa, China, India. Amen. You call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Call upon the name of the Lord. <clears throat> what must I do to be saved? <clears throat> Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. And your house. I don't exalt myself in any way, shape, or form. But I want to tell you this. <clears throat> Before the tsunami in the Indian Ocean, 
I thought. If I could get into detail about all my dreams and visions that the Lord has shown me, revealed himself to me, and I could go into detail and, and, and will take a lot of time on it. The tsunami in the Indian Ocean. Okay. The Katrina. I saw it before it came to pass. Okay. I try to go on radio and, 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 and warn people, hey, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And guess what? It was here. <clears throat> it was ugly. Watch. There's two. Did you see it? Okay. I'm going to show you two more. Um, before the Pope died, I saw that he died uh, six or seven days before he died. Okay, the Pope. The other one was another minister. It was called Ted Haggard. I woke my wife up about three o'clock in the morning and said, "Honey, honey, wake up, wake up. What, 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 what is it? What is it? What is it?" I said, "We need to pray for a man. He's behind a pulpit. Be careful, man behind the pulpit." I said, "He's white. He's got many followers." And and all of a sudden, I saw a dark shadow. Just come over him. And I said, oh, God. I said, that's scary. So I told my wife about it, and we prayed. I said, Lord, we pray that you would not kill him, take his soul, whatever. But, Lord, I don't know who he is, but just expose him, bring him to the light. And, but save his soul. And sure enough, he got revealed, and it was uh, Tid Haggard. Okay, he had a, I don't know, secret lover, whatever. Whatever it is. Uh, if, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land. Okay. Um, the Pope and Donald Trump, two men behind the pulpit, both ministers. Okay. Watch. I'm going to show you two more. I saw uh, in the city of Las Vegas that not one hotel stayed upon another hotel. But they all came down like dominoes, like there was a mist that came in and started boom, 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 boom. The city of Las Vegas. From Las Vegas Boulevard all the way to Maryland Parkway. I mean, this thing was just, I mean, people running. Uh, it, 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 it was terrible, the city of Las Vegas. Uh, we need to pray. Uh, what I saw, here's another. These are all doubles. These are all doubles. And uh, the Lord said that when, when you start seeing them doubles, hey, blow the trumpet in Zion and warn the people. The other one was in 1995, I was a waiter at the MGM Grand Hotel, 95. And uh, across the street was... Uh, um, What's across the street from the MGM? Not Trop, not Excalibur. The other one? New York, New York. Okay. And uh, I could see the New York City, New York, New York, across the street from the MGM Grand. And I only looked at it and looked at it, but I never saw, I, I, I'm not going like, there's that city I saw in my dream. The one in Las Vegas Boulevard, uh, north west corner, don't have the two towers. It didn't have the ninety five. When I was when I was looking at it, I said, "Man, I said I had a dream, and that dream bothered me, bothered me, bothered me." I started having uh, birth pains. And then uh, in 95, and uh, I tell you what, go look at these videos I have. You're going to see a letter. You're going to see a letter. I don't have it now, but you see a letter that I sent to Bush. I sent it to Obama. And now they didn't respond, nothing. I don't know where these videos go. I don't know where these uh, letters go, these emails and stuff like that. Um, uh, I, I'm trying to send uh, Donald J. Trump. Uh, the next one that has not come to pass. 
Okay. Uh, the other one was uh, California. I saw that from San Francisco to L.A. was full of fire like 3,000 feet up in the air. Fire. Fire like you've never seen before. But, I mean, from where I saw it, it was high. Like 3,000, 2,000, 3,000 up, uh, up in the air. Fire from San Francisco to L.A. Uh, I told it to one pastor and he said, you know what? Uh, that's Holy Ghost fire. He said, the Lord's going to set him on fire. Well, what's in uh, San Francisco? Gay, lesbian. You set him on, either set him on fire or the fire of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You better listen. You better listen. Get the fire of the Holy Ghost and not the other kind of fire. Because that ain't pretty, that ain't ugly. I mean, uh, okay, listen. More double, double, double. <clears throat> Katrina, tsunami, uh, t uh, the Pope, Ted Hager, another pair. Um, Las Vegas and California, another pair. The other pair I'm going to show you. Okay, the Las Vegas has not come to pass. The um, uh, From San Francisco to L.A. has not come to pass. I'm going to show you one more that has not come to pass. That's why it's so urgent that the people of God, that the man of God, may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Amen. Why? Because God says, if I tell you to go and warn that wicked person, nation, country, and you don't, I will require your blood at your hands. And you see these hands here? No blood is going to be on my hands because I'm trying to go this way, that way, this way, every which way but lose to warn uh, America especially. Okay. Now listen to this. You build the wall around the U.S. You ever seen a dog dig under, under the wall and still comes over? Hello? To build a wall around America, United States of America. Well, I'm, I don't want to call them dogs, but it's the same thing. I mean, they'll dig in there. They'll still come up. Not only that, how does an Olympic <laughs> jumper goes over the wall? Hello? So a wall is not going to do that much. Amen. See, because if, if the enemy really wants to get in, he's getting in. When you ain't watching. Okay, what happened with the uh, two towers in uh, New York? September 11th, 2001. They say that two missiles, two planes came and hit the two towers. In 1995, I saw them come down. But you know what? In, in, in my dream vision, uh, when I saw it on TV, I had to talk to God. I said, Lord, I said, you done messed up this one. Because you showed me, Lord, that they came down because they were blown up at the bottom. I, I told the Lord, I said, you got that one wrong. I said, we all seen it on TV. Two missiles or two planes hit the two towers that's why they came down. I'm trying to explain to God how they really came down. But you know what? We, America, we were lied to. They didn't come down because of the two planes. Okay? It was an inside job. Then they blamed the other guys. and Hey, let's go get them. Let's go get them. Here goes the U.S., the Army, the Navy. Here go. Let's go get them. Let's go kill them. Let's go kill them. So many soldiers were sent out to go capture these enemies that did this to America and then Mary, Mary, Americans laid their lives down over there they got killed well let's send some more let's take the guns away from America let's strip America from their weapons let's strip America from their guns take all the guns away what so that the enemy will come in, and and then you're going like, well, well hey, we, we, we gave all our weapons away. 
I say keep your weapon. Keep your weapon. Keep your weapon. Okay? We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and mice, and dominions. I tell you what. But I tell you what. When 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 that thing goes toward your head, you know what? Uh, you lay your life down, and, and you ain't going to love your life unto death. Why? Because to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. But you did what the Lord told you to do. Amen. Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give to each one. Each one, not everybody, each one according to his work. When God tells you to do something, you go do it. Amen. But ne never mind. Never mind Trump. Never mind Obama. Never mind Bush. Never mind Hillary. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Amen. God will take care of them. You worry about you and God. Amen. Uh, the next one that has not come to pass. And uh, I don't prophesy ugly against America, but I tell you what, you think everything's okay? You think everything's okay? They might tap Donald Trump in the back saying, hey, he made it, he. Watch out for them smiling faces. We need to pray for him. We need to pray for his wife, his family, everything. Right? We all saw the videos, the inauguration, and now he's president. Oh, man, all that was so beautiful. Okay? But the end is not yet. The end is not yet. We need to pray that he will start listening to the voice of God. The voice of God. And not the voice of Hillary. Not the voice of uh, uh, Trump, uh, uh, Obama. Not the voice of Bush. Because these two voices will come together against that one uh, Donald J. Trump, you know, and then he's going to go like, well, there's three of them, and I'm only one, I said, well, they must be right, but I tell you what, man, that, 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 that serpent of old is cunning and crafty and wicked, amen, so I love America, I'm laying my life down right now for you, my brother, for you, my enemy, that you may come to know the only true God. Amen. Now listen, uh, I'll finish with this. And uh, 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 I saw that there was another 9-11 coming to Chicago. I saw that another 9-11 is coming or happened or came to Chicago. I didn't see it coming. I saw it happen. Okay. And I'm not here to prophesy uh, death unto America, but I'm here to warn the wicked. Okay, Second Chronicles seven fourteen is for us. If my people, which are called by my name, this is God speaking, through you, through me, there was a a, a nine eleven that happened in Chicago, Illinois, zip code six oh six oh six. How do I know and found out that uh, the zip code was 60606? Because I had to send letters when I didn't have my computer. Uh, I saw that Dream Vision in 2003. You look at these videos I have already up there. Okay, there's nothing new. Okay. Uh, uh, I had to send letters. To who? Well, I, 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 I sent Chicago churches. You do uh, a search on the uh, internet and you do Chicago churches. You you, you go and, and ask them, did Jesse Charles send you uh, uh, a, a warning concerning Chicago? They live in Chicago. Okay, One of the streets in Chicago is Wacker, Wacker Drive, right downtown Chicago, right next to um, Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan. What happened is that when... When I saw that they hit Chicago right in the middle, all the water just came in, came out, and just flooded the whole Chicago. I don't fear in telling you this. I say it. I fear God. I don't fear men. What can man do to me? I'm more worried about what God can do to me if I don't open my mouth and speak. You can't hear God because, you know, he, a lot of times he don't even talk to people. There's some people he just don't talk to. 
There are some people he chooses to talk and to use for his glory. Okay, He had to pick me out of the gutter, clean me up, and talk to me. I said, well, if he can use a rooster, a tree, a donkey? Ah! God can use his Mexican burrito. I didn't know how to speak English. I didn't know how to read English. I, I, I said, what? I said, you, you, you want me to... I said, there's no pictures. I mean, I can read pictures, but this is plain. I said, I, I don't even know how to read. I don't even know. You, know, you, you want to use me? What? I can't even know. I don't even know how to speak English. Well, 30 years ago, my friend. 30 years ago. And when he said, go. Okay, listen to this. This is, this is a good one. Uh, I got the vision, I wrote it down, plain, just plain, so I wrote it down, okay, helicopter, you're going to see that on uh, the, my Chicago Dream, it's there, from the aircraft, I saw it, and uh, um, uh, I saw it, and I said, hey, you know what, if I'm not here tomorrow, you know what, I mean, I'm not the only one. That is a warning America. I'm not the only one that's warning your country. I'm not the only one that's warning Jerusalem. I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. Hey, guess what? <clears throat> okay. Yes, Lord. One last one. Revelation 17, 17. Watch. Let God speak right here. Revelation 17, 17. Uh, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, that horror, and of the abominations of the earth. This woman, she's ugly. Uh, Revelation 19, verse 2, she beheads the people. Look at my dreams and visions. Uh, when I was taken up to heaven, I saw Jesus sitting on the throne. Uh, I saw great tribulation happening here. There was people that were left behind. They had to go through the tribulation, great tribulation, and a great tribulation. These people have no heads on. I mean, I, I didn't see no blood, but I saw the Pictionary uh, vision. Okay, They're all on my uh, YouTube.com slash Jesse Charo. J-E-S-S-E-C-H-A-R-O. you got to go look them. My other website is soulwinnersforjesus.com. Soul winners. We are soul winners. I mean, fisher of men. I'm a fisherman. I'm a militant soldier of Jesus Christ. I am the army of the Lord. That's who I am. By the grace and the glory. He said, you know what, Jesse? I have to make you militant. To talk like you have to talk. But I don't even know how to speak English. I'll show you how to speak English. I'll show you how to read my word. I will show you great and mighty things that you don't even know. Call unto me, and I will show you great and mighty things that you don't, your little peanut here, couldn't even imagine. I have not seen nor ear heard of the things that the Lord has in store for them that love him. Do you love him? you got to lay your life down for Jesus. If you're on the bus, you're walking, you got no car, you're, you're, you're walking and it's cold and it's raining, Amen. you got to speak what the Lord has, has given you to speak. Okay. Do not premeditate on what you ought to say, but the Holy Spirit in you will speak. The Holy Spirit will speak out of you when we submit to the Holy Ghost. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Revelation 17, 17. For God has put it into their hearts to fulfill His purpose. His purpose is going to be fulfilled. God's purpose will be fulfilled whether you like it or not. Revelation 17, 17. For God has put it into their hearts to fulfill His will. To fulfill His promise. And to be of one mind. And to give their kingdom to the beast. They're going to give their kingdom to the beast. You don't want to be here. You don't want to be left behind. You don't want to be here reading those left behind series. You want to, <laughs> you don't want to be here. Read your Bible now.
for God has put it in, uh, for God has put it into their hearts to fulfill his purpose to be of one mind and to give their kingdom to the beast until the words of God are fulfilled. Uh, soulwinners.com uh, soulwinnersforjesus.com Soul winners with an S, winners, the number four, Jesus.com. My website, I love you, God loves you, and guess what? There's nothing you can do about it.